Welcome everyone. This video tutorial briefly explains the concepts of sinusoidal waveforms, which we often refer to simply as AC. An AC waveform can represent voltage or current and is drawn as a sine wave on an XY coordinate plane as shown here. The vertical axis shows the value of the voltage or current values such as 0, 1, 2, or 3. And the horizontal axis shows time, such as 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Associated with the waveform are several values. The first is the instantaneous value, which represents the value of the voltage or the current at any given time. For example, at t equals 0 seconds, the voltage is 0 volts. At t equal to 1 second, the voltage is equal to approximately 2.5 volts. At t equal to 5 seconds, the voltage is equal to approximately minus 2.5 volts. The instantaneous voltage or current is represented by the, letter, the lowercase letter V or I. The next value we need to know is the peak value. The peak value of a sine wave is the value of the voltage or current at the positive or the negative maximum peak with respect to zero. In this sine wave, the peak value occurs at t equal to 2 seconds. And has a value of 3 volts. And is called the maximum peak value. The sine wave also has a peak at t equal to 6 seconds. and the value is minus 3 volts. And this is called the negative peak value. So the peak values have equal magnitudes but different signs. The value is represented by the letter or the combination V P. The last value that we need to know is called the peak to peak value. This value is measured from the positive most peak to the negative most peak. And is represented by VPP. In equation form, VPP is always equal to 2VP. Okay, other value, other concepts that we need to know is cycles, period, and frequency. One complete iteration of the waveform is called a cycle. So from zero to 8 seconds in this waveform represents one cycle. In this diagram, from point 0 to point 1 represents one complete cycle. From the second peak to the third peak, shown by the letter B, also represents a cycle, a complete cycle. From point 2 to point 3 is another complete cycle. So a cycle can be measured from any two points as long as one iteration is completed. 
associated with a cycle is the period which is represented by the letter T. The period of a waveform is the time it takes to complete one cycle and is measured in seconds. In this second waveform, if the distance along the horizontal axis from point zero to point one is one second, then the period is one second long. The frequency of a waveform is the number of cycles completed in one second and equals the reciprocal of the period. Frequency equals 1 divided by t. It is expressed in hertz and symbolized as capital H, lowercase z. In the above example, the period was 1 second. Therefore, the frequency equals 1 divided by 1, which is equal to 1 hertz. This concludes the video tutorial on sinusoidal waveform.